after weighing some of my options. I'm kind of leaning a little bit more to silver. Tart with the Chanel. So only the flagship store has the white bag. See? But I need like a more plain tote. So I did get three bags from Chanel. It is humongous. It's bigger than me. I didn't do any shopping in New York though. So that's why I chose Paris or Paris. <laughs> Chanel, Chanel. Um, because I know I was coming to Paris. I figured it was a perfect opportunity in Paris. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do a luxury handbag unboxing Paris edition yeah. I'm actually in Paris and today is my birthday February 26th um, I am a Pisces so I'm in Paris and fortunately I was able to do some luxury handbag shopping. Thank you so much to God. Thank you for another year. I'm ever, 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 ever so grateful. Um, but yeah, the girl is in Paris. Paris. So is it Paris? Paris? Wait, so is it Paris, Paris, or Paris? In Paris. I'm in Paris. I'm in Paris. Paris? Paris? I don't know. Anyway, we're in Paris, okay? And um, I'm at the Pullman Hotel where you have the view from the Eiffel Tower right from your balcony. It's super, super, super dope. So just a quick side note, ever since, so in 2022 when I turned 30, I wanted to come to Paris to, um, you know, celebrate my birthday. But unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, and I believe Paris was like a level three warning at the time, I didn't feel like it was safe to come. Um, so two years later, we're, we're here. So better late than ever. I feel like life is all about timing. And I feel like now is like the perfect time. <laughs> um, I'm using natural light. So I'm hoping to get this video out before like the clouds or it gets a little bit darker. Right now it's about like 3 p.m. here. Um, so yeah. So all I have planned today for my birthday is to go to dinner tonight at Caesars um, Paris. Which is supposed to be a really good restaurant. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I kind of chilled all day, slept in. Um, I'm going to get my makeup done. Someone's going to come in to do my makeup. I'm also going to get some professional photos taken. So I'm very excited. Um, let's get right into it. So just to, um, a brief overview. So I did get three bags from Chanel. Um, and I didn't do any shopping in New York um, because I know I was coming to Paris. I figured it was a perfect opportunity to, um, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to shop, um, do some touristy sightseeing, um, enjoy good food, a great atmosphere, and just kind of knock everything out at one. So that's why I chose Paris or Paris. <laughs> I went into the Chanel store with the intent to get a medium pinkish classic flat bag. Um, after weighing some of my options and just seeing some of the price differences, I ended up getting not a pink bag, not a medium bag. So I'm going to start with my smallest bag. I didn't box any of my bags yet, so this is the first time that they are being revealed. This is what the bag looks like. Um, it's the white bag, and you see it has a nice rose here. Um, the nice Chanel and it's on um, 31 Rue Camden. So this is the best, this is the flagship store. So this would be the first Chanel store and it has such a wide collection like if you're coming to Paris to shop for Chanel I would recommend going to the 31 Rue Camden one and it's um such a wide wide selection here so my essay was um Ting Ling this is her card I don't know if you can see it but okay yeah that's her card um, so she was super patient. She provided me with so much information. Um, like it was such a great shopping experience. I didn't feel rushed. I didn't feel like she was just trying to get a sale. And honestly, I went in just for one thing and I came out with three things. So, um, birthday energy, birthday behavior. But yeah, so only the flagship store has the white bags. So, um, yeah, so the white bags is very unique for the flagship store. As you know, the other Chanel stores, when you get your bag, it's in black. So let's just go ahead and unbox. It's a wonderful, wonderful bag. So the first bag is a small leather good, or SLG as they would call it. So this is the box it comes in. It's so pretty. Um, I 
and then I'm going to take off. Alrighty. So close. Alright. Let's flip her oh, high up. Oops, child. Technical difficulty. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to make this shiny old shiny old. This is what she looks like. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take the flap off. And then this is a card that she comes with. So I'm gonna take her out. Oops. Oops. And she just, I'm gonna pop this open. Okay. Oh, double C's. I guess that goes with it. Double C's, it makes sense. The two Chanel um, parts are not. I tried to do that sexy, but it didn't, it didn't work out. Okay, so here she is, and I feel like she's such a stunner. So, um, let's see if I can get it up close. So this is a small leather good, a nice Chanel bag. It's in gray. And the dress that I'm wearing for my birthday is silver, so I feel like the silver and the gray will go. It is a gold hardware, but um, it is gold hardware, but I'm wearing like the, the theme. I'm just going to make it silver and gold, so I'm going to wear gold shoes to match the hardware, my silver dress, and this gray, so I'm hoping it goes together. I don't really have a choice at this point, but it's very reminiscent of the classic flap right here you can see and then um it's gold heart and the gold cc's so this is like the mini classic flap and there's like a little heart right here if you look closely this little chanel sign there's like a heart right there which is so cute what i really love is this chanel heart right here Let's see if i can get it to focus come on baby can you focus on me yeah this yeah perfect this is really nice um um heart heart with the chanel detailing here so yeah i plan to wear it as a clutch it is caviar leather um i can wear it as a cross body as you can see so it can be worn as a cross body so yeah this is the first bag and i love it and it's gray it's also a nice neutral color i can match it with a lot so still on the 30 plus classy side of things. So I really, really love that. So yeah, this is my um, my little Chanel. I don't know what I'm gonna name her, but I can't wait to like throw her on really quickly because it's a nice crossbody when I'm running my cute little errands or when I'm going out, like dressed it up as evening wear. So yeah, she's my new girl. And we're launching her for my birthday. As small as it is, as oops, as small as it is, it can definitely hold my phone. And I have the iPhone 14, I think. So yeah, evening wear, but we but still functional. So oh, and I don't know if I did a close up of her. Okay, and to her. So my other bag is humongous. It's bigger than me, as you can see. Ooh. Another white bag. Oh. Whoa, all right. A little bit of workout, but you know what they say. They say shopping is cardio. Um, huge, huge, huge bag. Let's see if I can maybe this way. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. Let's make it content. Let's make it contentable. I'm gonna take this off. And then we're going to pull the bow. Alright. Alright, so let's open her up. And by the way, I'm leaving all the boxes here. I'm not taking any of the boxes home. Okay. Out of the box. 
and this is the card that she comes with. It's messy. But yes, guys, let's take her out. Alrighty. So as you can see, so first let's take this one off. Alright, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. And there gotta be another one. Okay, so this is the front. Right, and this is the back. Like, I love how they wrap it. They're so like a detail attentive here. So we have a jumbo beige flap. Um, let's take this off first. So she is a double flap. And we're gonna take the paper off. So you can tell she's a double flap. One, two. One, two, double flap. She does have some paper inside there, but we're just gonna leave that in. It does show Chanel made in France there, and you have the double C's right here. Um, so let's go ahead and take off some of the paper. So let's take this paper off of it as well. Okay. And yes, so she is a jumbo. She's in caviar leather. It's a beige color, very classic. And as you know, if you've been following me for a while, I'm more on the classic side of bags. I gravitate towards the classic colors. I didn't want a pink, but they had a super pale pink and then they had a super like purple pink. I'm sorry, they had a pale pink, which almost looked white and they had a purple pink. So it wasn't the perfect pink that I wanted. I wanted like a Barbie pastel pink. So I figured um, more than to get that color, just wait for the opportunity to get the right pink that I wanted and then I would get that in a medium. So that's why I went ahead and got the jumbo. As you know, my favorite um, way to wear the jumbo, if you love to wear her just like this, like a nice little handle bag. And the medium doesn't really hold a lot. It's not as functional to me, and the straps are kind of not as long, so you can't wear it as a crossbody. Honestly, I think this is a little too big to wear as a crossbody, but um, so that's why I'm gonna wear it like this. Um, and part of the reason that I went for the jumbo is because it costs a, like almost a thousand more. And if you're already going to spend that type of money, I figure you should have a bag that is just more functional, can hold things, and you would get more wear out of it. A lot of the bags these days can barely hold like a phone, a wallet, um, things of that nature. And um, if you're going to spend that much money on a bag, I think it should be able to do that. Um, my small leather good one, the, the gray one um it doesn't it's pretty small yeah that one does hold my phone and i'll show you guys in a bit but yeah i really really like it it's so neutral um it's with the gold hardware and i know i'm gonna get my money's worth i have Givenchy boots that this goes with i have chanel sneakers that this can go with like yeah like <laughs> love 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 hair just a close up for you Unboxing is going by too fast. <sighs> My unboxings go by so quickly. <laughs> Look how huge this bag is, guys. <laughs> it's so big. This reminds me of the Givenchy Shark boot bag. Ooh, I feel strong. <laughs> All right, guys. So, again, so I'm just going to put it on the floor because... So, obviously, it's bigger than the Jumbo. So, you can already probably guess this is a bag that I'm going to use for traveling which I needed because this time around traveling I needed a bag that didn't have any design so I have a I have a before I open up I have a Dior um the Dior tote with the monogram I have the LV tote with the large monogram for traveling I have a Balenciaga just plain tote that just says Balenciaga Paris and I wore my Bottega um gray tote here which was small it didn't hold a lot so it wasn't super functional but i need like a more plain tote fungus bag guys jesus it's so big oh god it's bigger than life okay and it feels kind of cool going to the first chanel that was ever opened like that's kind of cool it has a huge duster oh, okay sit baby all right so this is a duster 
They're very big. This is the card it comes with again. This is the duster. Whoa. This is a big duster. There are two Chanel parts too. Um, if you guessed a tote, you guessed right. And this is my new, my new Chanel tote. <laughs> so she's in like a cloth material and I just love, love, love her. So it's just um, Chanel 31 Rue Camden on there. So this is obviously how the bag looks. It's the detailing of like the straps with the C's on it. Can you see it? So, so, so this is what it looks like. It has gold hardware. I'm kind of leaning a little bit more to silver, but lately it's like, now that I like silver hardware, it's becoming a little bit more difficult to find, but still love it. Um, has the nice gold hardware. Says Chanel. Um, really wear it around my shoulders if I'm walking through the airport and I need to dig in my bag which is super convenient but you know me I'm gonna go for the bigger size because I need the functionality of a smaller um, bag where I can keep like I don't know coins money so you guys know I'm definitely wearing this back to the state because my other bag was so small on the inside on the inside it says Chanel here and then there's like a little Chanel detailing right here. This little badge. It's a little Chanel detailing right there. I don't know if you can see. I didn't get exactly what I intended for. But similarly to life, I feel like even in dating, sometimes you'll have like the ideal man that you want. Tall, dark, handsome. You know, maybe you want somebody in corporate or you want someone, whatever your criteria is. But then you meet someone that sweeps over your feet and you love that person and um, it's not what you really intended for, but it's who you fell in love with and it works. So I really wanted to score an Hermes bag while I was here. Um, um, I've been putting in for the lottery, but now I'm hearing that even with an appointment, you still might not score an Hermes bag. So I don't know, but um, I did put in for an appointment. So I'm going to keep trying to see if I get called, but if I don't, I'm super 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 happy well, thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy seeing it thank you guys for tuning in and um um i guess this is my first luxury haul of the 2024 yeah my first luxury haul of 2024 and so far i didn't know it was going to be a three-peat i didn't know i was going to get three things at once but definitely definitely worked out and if and you know they have such a wide variety here in paris so if you're looking to get any luxury items and you're going to travel to paris um just i would say not do not buy anything while you're in the states just wait till you get here and make your purchase that way so thanks again for watching <laughs>
all right time to get the mail so wish me luck guys bye yeah, she won't snap, go get it. She won't snap, go get it.